G'day, I'm Alistair Christie, and in this video we're going to have a quick look at uh, form ownership in both the VCL and FireMonkey. So we're just playing around really, nothing, nothing too serious. Um, uh, but first a word from our sponsor, which is myself. Um, I've um, been producing these videos for free for sort of four years or so, and uh, recently I did my first commercial one, so building uh, applications using VCL part one, which is available available to sell on my website, learndelphi.tv. Um, so if you're uh, looking to uh, learn uh, programming in the v using the VCL or uh, wanting to know it in a bit more detail, um, part one's available. I'm, I'm currently working on part two. Uh, part one, we cover about 20 components um, and sort of some background information. And we, we build a periodic table uh, using a string grid. Uh, part two, uh, we're covering probably about 50 components. We cover a lot more because we've already covered um, many of the properties as uh, a lot of the components are in common. Anyway, I'm, I'm digressing. Um, so on with the show, basically. Um, so yeah, go buy my video from my website, uh, learndelphi.tv, uh, and enjoy this one. Cheers. So I'm just going to start with a new VCL Forms application. And I want to talk a little bit about form ownership. Uh, so throw a button on this form and really it's, it's more of a um, the more general topic is like component ownership but uh, we can um, talking about forms will illustrate it quite nicely so um, I'm just going to create a new T form 6 and I'll throw nil in there for now and go show now what I want to do is when we create it to make things a little bit more colourful create a random colour um, T colour is basically an integer and we're creating a so that would be the maximum uh, colour value so it's basically a random colour um, and in the on close uh, let's free the form And if I run that, all is good, and I can close forms quite nicely. Um, the only issue being is if I view that and and I create a form and leave it open while closing, um, we get some memory links, which which is not, not really a big deal. Um, but, uh, well, it, it depends who you talk to, of course. Um, so what, what I'll do is uh, add an owner to the form. And um, what I can do, there's lots of options, but I'm just going to do self in here for now. And so let's uh, create a bunch of these. And I can close them. And if I close out, there's no memory leaks. Now, using self, uh, you need to be aware that if I do a bunch of these and so there's sort of some uh, an ownership hierarchy so this form is owned by this form is owned by this form is owned by this form and so so on way back to this one but if I close this grey form uh, the others get freed as well because uh, when we free the form we free any components that that form owns and uh, that will include our um, uh, additional additional forms um, so you might not want to use self. Um, so I am actually going to uh, digress a little bit, and we're going to do this exact same thing in FireMonkey, um, just so, just for fun, basically. So uh, let's create a new FireMonkey HD application, and save changes no, and we'll make this nice and small. And what we'll do. Is uh, just give the, make the form a gradient, and in the on create, let's go fill dot color, um, and we need a button, and I always I have to change the order of the the button radio button so that the button is uh, comes first. Because uh, I keep putting radio buttons on my FireMonkey forms. 
where it intended but anyway uh, I'm digressing so um, so we do that and of course uh, we want to do our in our on close notes there are far fewer events on forms in FireMonkey and I can't just go free CA free here either I need to uh, prepend the close action class uh, well type well what is it an enumerated type um, because we have the uh, yeah, uh, in in FireMonkey they're trying to make the name namespaces a bit more uh, unique, so that um, we, there's less confusion. Well, at least at least less confusion for the compiler. Uh, well, I suppose the compiler never gets confused. It's the user gets, gets confused as to wondering why weird things are happening. But anyhow, so we've um, got that up and running, and we can create uh, quite nice looking forms and. Um, we have the same issue with them closing. So if so, just if you're using create self, you seem to be aware that um, if you're on a uh, a list of customers and you bring up a particular customer to edit edit, and you're playing away there and decide to close your list of customers, um, you'll lose your customer editor as well, and possibly the the, the changes you were uh, intending to make, or at least the changes your user was intending to make. So um, just be aware of. Uh, form ownership in that respect. Um, the other other thing, well, this we can this this owner can be any any component. Um, I could make it the button, so I can make a button one, or I can go sender as t component, which is um, kind of the the most basic uh, control or the most basic ancestor we can use of of the t button. Um, so effectively, uh, this is going to work the same because now the the buttons own the the child form, and if we close uh, the form, the button gets freed, and then all the um, components that the button owns get free, gets freed. Now the other um, thing that or component that's often used as the uh, owner is application. And I should probably uh, just verify that so we'll report the memory leaks uh, just to prove there are none so we create our our, our uh, forms and then we can um, close them in any, any order but of course if we close the main form um, our uh, application run finishes and basically it, it, the application object gets freed and then all the um, components it owns gets freed. Um, so that's pretty much all I was uh, wanting to discuss. I hope the, the uh, what I've covered is, is somewhat useful. Um, and of course we now get memory links. In fact we get a whole heap of stuff because uh, uh, FireMonkey forms are quite a lot more complicated than uh, the standard VCL forms. So that's kind of a little bit of a contrast between uh, Delphi forms, sorry, uh, VCL forms and FireMonkey forms, um, and a little bit of uh, form ownership thrown in. Um, so I think I'll, I'll stop my video here.